Okay. Hello, my name is Sean Didyoung. Um, I'd like to take a moment to tell you about a method that I use to transfer images that I want to engrave onto whatever piece that I'm engraving. Um, <clears throat> I use some stuff that I've developed. It's called Engraver's Transfer Fluid. Um, I use Picturico TPU 100 Premium OHP Transparency Film. Uh, that can be found online. Um, the other deal that I use is the HP inkjet printer that uses number 61 ink. Um, the transfer fluid itself can be found on my website which is cowboyengraving.com. Uh, usually I start off by uh, draw an image of some scrolls or uh, lettering or whatever it is that I'm wanting to transfer. I'll uh, then print that onto a piece of paper. Um, increase the darkness of your ink that goes onto the paper. I'll take the transparency film and apply that to where the rough side of the transparency film is facing up. The transparency film itself has two sides. One is really smooth and the other side is really rough. So again you want the rough side facing up. Run it through your printer and print in black ink um, onto your transparency film your pattern. When I uh, before I apply any of the transfer fluid onto the piece that I'm engraving, it's helpful to take a piece of clear plastic tape and stick that down to it. What this does is it'll actually pull off any dirt or oils that are on the piece. Um, you can transfer your images onto copper, brass, silver, steel, uh, gold, whatever it is that you plan on engraving. Um, <clears throat> the next deal that I'll do is I'll take a, just a regular Q-tip and get a little amount of the transfer fluid on there. You don't want to use an excessive amount of the fluid on the piece. You just want to lightly coat it. And allow it to dry for a minute or two. Usually what I do to speed up the process is just lightly blow on it. To help it dry. I'll take the image that I've transferred onto the film. Take a little piece of tape and put it on the smooth side of the film and then position my image onto the piece and then tape it down. So what that allows me to do is burnish the image and then lift it up and see how much of the image is uh, being transferred. <clears throat> the one deal about this method compared to others is you're using a clear transparency film. You can see exactly where your image is being transferred to. You can uh, start off by just lightly burnishing the transparency film with your fingers or your fingernails. What I uh, really like to use, I've just got an old ink pen. I've actually converted it into my scribe. Uh, the nice deal about this is it's a fairly soft plastic. So when I use this to burnish the image, it doesn't scratch it or leave any abrasions on it. Not that that matters a huge amount. Um, you're just going to lightly burnish the image. And every once in a while you can pick it up and check to see how the transfer is coming across onto the piece that you're wanting to engrave.
Again, the, the one thing that uh, might give you trouble when you're first starting out is if you use too thick of a coat of the transfer fluid. Again, you just want to use a really light coat. Um, what I kind of think happens is if you use too much of the fluid and it dries and then you try to transfer your image, well, the you get a gummy solution up on top and all that does is just smear and you don't get a really clean, accurate transfer. So just work your way all the way around. Again, you can per periodically check. And as you see, um, we're getting a really, really nice, clean, black transfer that's easy to follow while you're engraving it. The nice deal about this paper is it has a really long shelf life. Uh, you could print these images out onto the paper um, and use them, I don't know, five, six months down the road and you're not going to have any problems. there you see we've got a really clean image um, very simple to follow along when you're engraving uh, I hope that this helps you again my website is cowboyengraving.com the transfer fluid is sold in a little plastic bottle it will hold about two ounces of the fluid um, in all honesty one bottle could last a single engraver five six years depending on how many transfers he does but it does go a really really long ways um, I thank you for your time and uh, hope to hear back from you thanks